Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video has absolutely nothing to do with Corel Draw. But six months ago or so, somebody wanted a single line font that they could quickly vector the back of something they made and not spend the time. These are made up of hairlines, and if you had to engrave this uh, with a thicker line than a hairline, it would. And this is big; it's 12 inches long by a little over an inch and a half. This would take maybe several minutes to run. Uh, I just went out in the shop and ran it, and this took like 15 seconds. I can't remember if it was 15 or 20 seconds to vector cut this. And I actually vector cut the outline of the box at a normal speed, but I vectored this at 100% power, 100% power in about 50 speeds, so it would not cut all the way through. It would just mark it. But one of my viewers sent me a link to a font site that is kind of cool called pickafont.com. And if you go to that site, uh, I'm not going to send you the link he sent me to that sent me to this vector, but if you go right up here and search CNC, it'll bring up that font because it's called CNC. It's actually underneath... Um, it's actually underneath this techno, but this font uh, is a great site. I've been looking through it. It's got some great fonts. It's got some normal fonts. It's got some fonts. My best font site to go to was DA fonts, and this has some fonts that DA font doesn't have. Uh, just for instance, on cartoon, it has 167 pages of cartoon type fonts and some of them are really cool I've never you know like that one right there like Yahoo uh, and it's a free download site um, you can download all these very easily it does have some ads popping up and that's how they're receiving their money but that's um, good for them but it's got square fonts I mean cube fonts um, almost anything you could think of. Handwriting fonts. Let's just see. There's 222 pages of this. So I'm going to bookmark pickafont.com and then when you want to search for that, just type in CNC and hit enter and that font comes up. It's a CNC vector. And it's cool. Now, I probably won't ever use that but it would be cool if you wanted to mark just your name on the bottom of, of something you made and you had to do a lot of them and you just wanted a little recognition or, or you just wanted to use a font like that. Anyway, and they also have another font. My son's a photographer and I was just playing around. Looks like a roll of film. I've never seen that anywhere else. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.